early 1970s as a graduate student, the field of research on emotion was of, uh, absolutely in the backwaters of science and psychology. There was very little research going on. And um, there was especially um, little research that was focused on the brain and emotion. Our work, I think, helped to establish the field of affective neuroscience that we call it, which is the study of the brain mechanisms that underlie emotion. And uh, we benefited from the development of new technologies to uh, allow us to interrogate human brain function and structure in ways that were unimaginable when I first began. The book is really about differences among people in how they respond to emotional challenges, how they respond to life slings and arrows. Gaining insight and awareness is really a key condition in order to promote happiness and health uh, and successful um, adaptation and resilience. Six emotional styles that I describe in the book are all rooted in neuroscientific research and they're based upon specific brain systems. And here are the six emotional styles. One is resilience, that is the capacity to recover from adversity. Some people are fast and some people are slow um, in response to a stressful life event. A second we call the outlook style, which is the capacity to sustain positive emotion over time. People who see the glass um, as half empty versus half full um, differ in their quality of outlook. Third um, characteristic is what we call context. And that has to do with a person's sensitivity to the context in which they find themselves and their ability to modulate their emotional responses in a context-sensitive way. Our fourth dimension is the, a person's sensitivity to social cues. Some people are really sensitive to a person's facial expression or tone of voice. Other people are less sensitive. Individuals on the autism spectrum may be particularly insensitive, especially to facial cues. A fifth dimension is your sensitivity to your own internal bodily cues. Um, some people are really aware of the emotions that are inside them. Other people are more opaque. The last dimension we call attention. And it has to do with how scattered or focused a person is. Some people are able to really focus their attention well. Other people are much more scattered in their attentional style. Uh, and that is uh, a very important determinant of aspects of emotional behavior as well. In the book, we provide um, short, simple questionnaires uh, that allow a person to assess where he or she falls on each of these six dimensions of emotional style. Now, having said that, it's also important to convey to the viewers that these emotional styles that are featured in my book are all based on measurement of brain function. One of the things that our work has been focused on is how um, meditation and other practices from contemplative traditions as well as strategies from modern Western science can be used to train the mind in ways that will alter the brain and enable um, the, the brain and the body to achieve states of um, better health uh, better resilience and um, more successful adaptation.